Hello and welcome to AAT Level 3 Spreadsheets for Accounting. Uh, I'm going to, as I'm taking you through the videos for the Osborne's book uh, tutorial book. Uh, and we've just done uh, the introduction in chapter one, and I explained in that that um, we were already starting to do equations, and that perhaps that was a little bit difficult right at the start. And so what I would do is um, uh, highlight the function wizard that's available for you, which will make um, producing equations at the start, new ones that you don't don't know about, um, a bit easier. It is actually in the book. Um, it's on uh, page 108. So we're going to um, jump ahead. I'll redo it again. Um, when we get to that that point as well but just at this point really in here um if the book seems to produce or provide um some more non non atypical equations that don't have um uh, buttons for them like you know, the auto sum the sum was fine because it had an auto sum button available but if it's going to have um uh, equations like average straight away then what we're going to do is we're going to do the function wizard up front which will make life a lot easier for you so Open up a work, um, a workbook, and within it a worksheet. What I've done in here is I've added some additional worksheets in. Uh, you don't need to worry about those. Um, if I use the function wizard in uh, this video, it will switch the video off. It's annoying, so I've had to do a series of, of print screens uh, for you. So what you're going to do is when you, you've opened up your workbook and you're here, um, you're going to go to the formulas uh, tab for me. So in the tabs, we talked about those in the last in the last chapter. Go into the formulas tab, and here there's something called insert functions, and you're going to uh, click on that for me. When you click on that, up will come this little box. So as I sort of said, we're going to have um, print screens rather than me actually doing it on the screen, and this little box um, has now put up an insert function. So you see how it's already for us put the little equal sign in and it's getting excited that we're going to start doing something and it's given some options. What we can do in here is you can type in your function. There was some down here that you might have already done. So I'd used average in the last chapter. So average was there. Um, I'd already, I use VLOOKUPS quite a lot. So VLOOKUPS was there for me uh, as was the sum as well. So if you typed in the average into here and you typed it in um, and then press go, yeah it will come up and it will provide these ones in here so that would be to get it there the alternative would be to have just simply clicked on that and pressed ok oh, so clicked on the average one to highlight it and pressed ok if you put the average in there anyway if it wasn't available for you wasn't wasn't um wasn't brought up it will then bring up the average one to the top we highlight the one that we want in this case average we press ok and it then brings up this and what this does is already now it's put in the equals and the name of the function for us and put some brackets in for us as well and now it's going to say right i want to see some ranges please if we we're in a vlookup one it would have four boxes in um, and we'll get to that uh, later on down the down, down the line here average it's got one big one in bold which is saying give me a range uh, for that and then it's got some other ones, which are some other options and averages, but we only really need the, the one here. In here, we're going to put the range. Now, you could type in uh, the range, so you could do, I don't know, B4 to B10, or what have you, with a, um, with a colon in between. But mainly what you're going to do is you're going to click on this little arrow out. And you see how the little arrow, it's got a little red arrow in it, and it's going out into the spreadsheet. And what that is basically doing is it's telling you to click on that, highlight the range, and you highlight the range by sort of starting where you want it to be and dragging to where you want it to want it to go so that would be the range so in here i clicked then after clicking this i then clicked here and i kept my finger on the mouse and i dragged down and that produced the range i then pressed enter um i actually set this as a sum one i then pressed enter if it was in the average one um Sorry, I was doing that as a sum one, um, and that's what I saved. So when I do that, what it will do is, is it will put the range back in for me in there, and it will complete the equation. It will write it out for me, and then you press OK, and you've got then your um, your equation uh, written out. So a bit like with the auto sum, uh, where we had this one, and it starts doing that, and we 
reduce the range there. It's the same as the auto sum really, but just for other functions and the, the button for it. So you find them by typing them in here, pressing go. They then come up as the options that are close to that, uh, whatever you've typed in. You press or you click on the one that you want and you press OK. Up comes the options. They might be needed and they might not. So here in average, we just need the one range in here. You then click in this button out here, which would then set the range. You set the range by cleft clicking where you want it to be and dragging it down um, to wherever you want it, either down or across or whatever the range is that you want. You then press return and you press OK. And that is then has populated your, um, your cell with the, uh, the equation. This will make it a lot easier rather than having to, if you were there, um, equals average open brackets, pushing the range in, closing the brackets. Um, it's not too bad when we're doing averages. Um, I think when, when you start to do lookups, if we were trying to do it like that without using the function wizard, you, you, you would struggle to do, do that. Um, it typically takes somebody a few months to, um, to be using the function wizard before they can start really uh, writing it out themselves. So hopefully that has been helpful. Um, I'm going to put this um, after the first chapter, um, just so that we're now, if we do have other chapters that bring in uh, equations, uh, you can uh, more easily use the function wizard if you want to use it rather than type it out. I'll probably, I probably will type out the equation, uh, but I'll refer to the function wizard. And if you didn't have this, um, this um, uh, chapter, and we weren't up, up to uh, page 108, I think you'd, you'd struggle to understand what I was going on about. So hopefully that's helpful, and I'll see you in chapter two.